Hi, I'm Brian, and I'm here at Saris in Madison, Wisconsin. Today we're going to take a look at the TD-1, the trainer desk, take it out of the box and get it set up. So the TD-1 ships in a nice flat box, and you'll want to take everything out and assemble all the pieces separately. So there are a couple uh, just empty cardboard pieces in here for shipping, uh, but this is going to be the table top for the desk. It also has the instructions in there, so make sure to hang on to that. Next up, this is the box that has uh, some of the extra leg pieces in there. There are two upper leg pieces. And lower leg pieces as well. And last but not least, don't forget all the included hardware. One of the things you'll notice right away about the hardware, there's bags uh, with multiples of different sized uh, bolts, and then a separate container on the end of this wrap uh, that has spares. Uh, so there should be one spare of every piece of hardware for the TD-1, just in case something goes missing as you're assembling or moving it around. All right, so I've got everything out of the TD-1 box plastic sleeves off of the metal tools, and I've started opening up the hardware bag and made some piles of the similar sized hardware. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is attach the leg uppers and lowers together, uh, and that is going to be done uh, with these larger bolts, nuts, and washers. Uh, I'm going to just use a multi-tool uh, for putting things together. You can also use uh, tools that came in the box, either way, whatever you prefer to work with. So all these pieces just slide together nicely. I'm going to hand tight the nuts and bolts together. Now the TD-1 has four positions you can assemble it in. I'm having it uh, set up here in the second to lowest position uh, to start off with. I know that this is going to work pretty well for my situation with the trainer just sitting on the floor or on top of an MP1. Uh, it'll be pretty close to the handlebars, but not too high, not too low. Uh, when you're choosing which position you want to set up in for the first go, not a bad idea to just measure your tops of handlebars, uh, get a good idea of where you want things to end up once you're all assembled. So I've got everything hand tight here. And now I'll just give it the final twist. No torque call out uh, specification for these, just Make sure they're nice and snug. You want to have a, a good, secure top uh, for the, the top of the desk to sit on top of. And again, this is uh, some heavy gauge steel. We actually use this exact same material uh, for racks we build here at Saracen Madison. Uh, so you can imagine uh, if you don't already have this product uh, before you in the home, uh, it is a, a nice beefy uh, piece of furniture. So it's going to hold a lot of weight uh, and stand up for many, many seasons. So uh, just like our racks in the outdoors, uh, this is going to be built to last. All right, all snug. So next step, I'm going to grab the base support piece and the cable guide, and we'll start putting these up. All right, so I've got my upper wire channel piece, uh, the lower support brace. We're going to flip the legs up now and start assembling those parts onto the legs. Starting off with the channel for the wire retention up here on the top. line up those holes and then again just like on the base I'm going to do a washer and nut I'm just kind of thumb tighten this for now we'll snug everything down in a, a moment all right then we can flip this one over get everything to match up again I'll tighten these up. Again, no torque specification to call out to. Uh, just make them nice and snug so you have a stable desk to work on. All right, so back at the bottom of the legs, uh, we'll put this bottom support brace on.
And again, we're just going to do washer and lock nut and get things hand tight so everything's in place before we tighten it down. Okay, everything is assembled hand tight, so now just going back around and snugging it up. Great. Now we're going to set the table the desk upright and put the tabletop on. So now I've got the top for the TD1 desk. I'll just place that on top for now. I'll get my hardware out of the bag for the top. We'll line those up, uh, put all of those pieces in, and wrap up the desk. Great. So now the TD1 is assembled. We're ready to use it. One last thing from the hardware bag that we haven't taken out yet are the cable management stickers. Uh, these are just uh, single use stickers that hold the power cable. So when you find out where you want to put the trainer desk, if you want to tuck the cord behind one of the trainer desk legs to keep it looking nice and clean, just remove those stickers, place them where you choose to put those to keep the cable all tied up and nicely hidden. And that's it. So get out there and enjoy your first ride on the TD-1.